Welcome to Necessary Conversation. I'm your Salima Sai. I got my guy. What's up? What's up? Jalen and Carson. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Rhode Island legend. <laughs> the captain of the 2023 AIC football team. Hey, we'll see, man. And it ain't happened yet, but it's going to come on, bro. It's going to happen. We'll see, bro. Stop the nonsense, Jalen. I just play my role, bro. And your role going to be the captain. I'm going to play my role. And when the role's, you feel me? So what you think your role is? Just... Being on the defense, being an older guy on the defense, being an older guy on his team, just, you know. Older guy on the defense, older guy on the <laughs> team, you're trying to captain. Hey, man, you know, there's, there was older guys on the team last year that weren't captains, you know. I was one of them. I wasn't the captain. Jalen, it was your first – it was like, come on. It was your first cool. season, like, really. All right, all right, you got it, you got it. You don't see. think you're going to be the captain? Hey, we'll see. Conti, I already know you got it in your mind. We know you got it in your mind. We know what's going to happen. Just let it, whatever. You know, yes, right? sir, gonna yes, leave it Listen, man, you're a Rhode Island legend. Yes, I, I guess. You don't want to take it there, but that, that's what it is. You're a Rhode Island legend. That's what you heard? Who'd you hear that's that from? I'm the only person you know from Rhode Island, so. Just from knowing you, I could tell you a Rhode Island legend. Yeah. I'm your football career, you went from Rhode Island to UNLV, man. Yes, sir. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Was you always a dreamer of being a Division One football player? Uh, yeah, I always wanted to go to that D one level, yeah. make sure I like try to play and give it all my all. Yeah. So when UNLV reached out to me, it was it was a great feeling. I had other D ones, but stuff fell through and didn't work out. But UNLV took a chance on me, and I took that and ran with it. What are the offers you have besides UNLV? Um, I'm looking at it, I had Assumption. Mm -hmm. Central Connecticut. Mm -hmm. I had, I had interest from Brown and Princeton. Mm -hmm. um, Brown and Princeton. Them grades was right, huh? Yeah, it was just the SAT scores weren't though. The grades was right, but not the SAT scores. And then, um, already said Central Connecticut. Mm -hmm. Uh, da, 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 da. can't think. Wow. Um, Syracuse. Mm -hmm. Syracuse. Yeah, Syracuse. There's some more, but I couldn't think. I can't think of them right now. So all of these schools you name and sounds very local. Yeah, very you local. Wanted to, were you one of those people who wanted to just get far away for college? Oh, uh, so honestly, it was more of I wanted to just go anywhere that was going to take me. Yeah. So after like my uh, my senior year of high school, I didn't know if I actually wanted to play college football and like actually go away from very far. So that's why I ended up going to Nichols College in Dudley, Mass. Played there for a year. Yeah. Balled out, and I was just like. I think I'm ready for something better, bigger yeah. and better. So, got, got in touch with UNLV, and they said, we'll take you as a walk-on. So, I was like, might as well go. You ever been to Vegas before that? Nah, that was my – um, before that, I went – my junior year going into my senior year, I went to a camp out there. Yeah. So, I was there for like five days, but I did my camp out there. And you liked it? Yeah, yeah. I ranked it a lot. UNLV, Las Vegas. What happens yes, in Vegas stays in Vegas. Yes, sir. Man, two of the best years of my life, I'll say. Yeah? yeah, two of the best years of my life Why for is sure. That? Huh? Why is that? Uh, it was just overall just being from Rhode Island is like I grew up here and I've seen everything. I've been to Massachusetts, New yeah. York, New Jersey, Florida. Like I've been all in down the East Coast. So just to go to the from the East Coast to the West Coast, it was just like a culture shock. Yeah. Yeah, big culture shock. And it was just it was fun though. Like I was at a D one school, I was playing yeah. football, I was going to school, just experiencing a new life, meeting people that I thought I would never meet before. I met people from Hawaii, yeah. California, Texas, yeah. China, China, Asia, like everywhere, bro. Yeah. I couldn't it's just Is the D one life cracked up to what it like it, what they what they say it is like on the YouTube you see the day in the life of the D one athlete the not having to go to class nah, the waking so up at the five it like how was it my it was me I'm always I was always like a studious person so yeah. it's like we would wake up six o'clock go to lifts no we'll go to meetings first then go to practice after practice would be either you go to class or you go to lift what time practice. Uh, practice would be like eight to ten in the morning. Yeah. yeah. So uh, <laughs> what was you saying? So um, we would wake up six in the morning. Well, no, five in the morning. Be there for like our defensive coach said that if you're not in before the if you're not in the facility by six thirty, you're late. So we had to be there before six thirty in the morning. Yeah, six thirty in the morning. So we was there from six thirty in the morning. Get there, do what you got to do. Tape, wrist, ankles, grab your loops, whatever you had to do, and then. Go in the meeting room by – we'd be in the meeting room by 6.50. Got to be there 10 minutes early always. And then 
we would have like a team meeting, discuss what we're gonna do for the day, and then we'd have like our breakout sessions. So the D line mm. will go D line, linebackers go linebackers, safeties, corners, whatever, blah blah blah. Mm. Excuse me. Um, and then after that, we do that for like an hour, and then we'll go to practice at eight. Practice be from eight to ten, and then depending on your class schedule, yeah. you would either go to class right after practice, or you would go lift. Yeah. And then go to class. But say if you had class after practice, you would have to go make your lift up. But so like everything from basically so from 6 a.m. to I'll say 12 p.m. It was strictly football. How was that jump from like Nicholas College to UNLV? You got to wake up at 6 30 a.m. Yeah. So honestly, it's it's more structured. Like at my D3, it was more of just you got lift in the middle of the day. You got your time slot. Make sure you're there. And make sure you're at lift, and then practice would be either four to six or six to eight. You never yeah. had a f- really fit schedule, yeah. so it's like you have. It's not. It's kind of harder to like manage your day. But when you're at UNLV, it's like okay, I got football from six to twelve, yeah. and then I got the rest of the day. So I, that's either going to class, getting something to eat, yeah. going to tutoring, make sure you're doing all your homework, yeah. and then if you have time, you can hang out with some of your friends, you know, some of your teammates, other people on campus. So you've been at all three levels, bro. Yeah, yeah. You've been D one, you've been D three, you've been D two. Mm-hmm. Is there like you know when you get to the NFL, they try to say oh, he's been D two, he's mm-hmm. not the talent level. Is there a big talent level difference? Um, honestly, it's not a talent level. It's more of like mindset, my discipline. mindset and discipline type deal. Like it was when I got to UNLV, it was like everybody was structured different. Like they were, there was years of top guys from every high school that they've been to. And yeah. It's like. They come in here and they know what they want. At the D twos and the D threes, there's some guys that don't know what they want. Yeah. But at that D one, everybody got that same mindset on where they want to be at, and they're it's just it's just a different different um, environment to be in. Yeah. So it's like it was a culture shock because coming from Rhode Island and going to a D three, just straight to a D one, it's like you just skip so many levels. Yeah. But honestly, when you get in there and you get into the routine, it's it, you become one of them. Yeah. It's like you don't feel like you're out of pocket, like out of the place. You're just there now. So it's now it's just, you're not even playing catch up. It's just just make sure you're doing what you got to do so you can get on the field. Yeah. So, bro, listen, bro. You you playing <coughs> in the Mountain West Conference? You at at UNLV? Yes, sir. Boise State. Yeah. That field. I know. So all right, this is gonna be sound crazy. So when I transferred to UNLV, yeah. my sophomore year, so that was what 2018. Yeah. I had to sit out because that's when they changed that rule. That oh, okay. um, so right before that rule change, I had to sit out. Due, I was deemed ineligible due to transfer from D three to D one, so I didn't travel. Yeah. But I went to every home game and I seen everything on TV. And then my second year there, they ended up redshirting me because mm. our D line was just so stacked that year. I'm not gonna lie. To yeah. You. So and I was just that was only my second year playing D line too. So I was still learning what the rules. What were you playing before that? Oh, and high well. My first year of college, I played. They moved me to D line, D end, yeah. and but in high school, I played linebacker. Yeah, I played linebacker. Uh, like outside back. or middle? No, line I played middle linebacker. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I seen your running back college. You was, yeah, you was, I played. Was... I played running back, tight end, middle linebacker. You was an athlete, huh? Oh, yeah, I averaged t- thirteen tackles my senior. Year. Yeah. yeah. How many touchdowns you had? Uh, my senior year. Yeah. I didn't get the ball that much. I think I had. I think like four, four or five. Yeah. I ran for 500 my sophomore junior year, but I wasn't really our main running back. But yeah. I was our main line back, our defensive player. So, so how is that going from like, like did, was you getting offered to play running back? Was you I getting offered so, to play linebacker. Yeah. So I got, I got a couple of schools that wanted me to play linebacker, but they always told me that I was going to move to the end. Yeah. But it's funny because a prep school in Massachusetts wanted me for running back, yeah. and I was just like. You never thought you never seen yourself playing. I couldn't. Back I couldn't play on the left side of the ball. No, nah. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. I can't. I don't like blocking. <laughs> Why not? I, I couldn't. Not. I couldn't tell you, bro. Like I really like. If I could play tight end and not block, I'll do it. I don't think. I mean, I, you Travis can't, Kelsey. You can't do that exactly. Well, barely it's not. It's not. It don't go to with each other. Yeah. But I can't. I don't like blocking, bro. They might put you both sides this year. Oh nah, my There's gonna be a lot of holding penalties, and it's gonna be on one person, and there's it's gonna be me. I keep it a bean. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you to you. hold I'm, a lot. I'm a black boy. Why you just not trying to get I'm, beat on nobody's film? Or I you just, just don't like you know blocking. What? Like I never got the basis of blocking. <laughs> what? What? Like, so you could defeat blocks, but you can't block. I, yeah, hundred percent. You gotta think about it. Like I'm a 
I'm a downhill type of dude, so like my blocking is putting my shoulder into you mm. and not using my hands. But when I use my hands, it's like I can't bring the feet. It's weird, bro. I can't do it, bro. Is that something you working on? Nah. <laughs> Why? Why I gotta work on it? I'm saying because Why? Just just Why? in case. Case what? You a captain. Case what? Just in case we need you. Case what? We need you. We I understand that. But my I I reside on, you know, my side of the ball. We might need you on both sides. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, listen, man. Look, look, look. You and LB. <laughs> you in Vegas. You in Vegas. You in Vegas. Did you ever get a chance to visit Cali? Yeah. I go yeah. to Cali every single year with yeah. my uh, my girlfriend. My girlfriend from Cali. Yeah. Yeah. So every Christmas we go up to Santa Rosa. It's near San Francisco. It's like an hour from San Francisco. Yeah. But I went to LA, I want to say, two summers ago. Yeah. Went there for a week. Is it cracked up? What is it like? I don't know what you define cracked up to be. Like, they, it's cool. Want to move to LA. It's, it's it's New York on the West Coast. If, if I'm gonna be quite real with you, yeah, it's literally what it is. It's nothing special about it's, it. It's well for people that have never been there, it might be special. But like when I first got there, when I went to LA for the first time, I was I was surprised. Like I went, I seen the Staples Arena. I yeah. seen I seen everything. I seen downtown LA. I seen. It's not the, I would call it the Lakers Arena. Well, yeah, you know what I mean. But um, I seen. Uh, I went down Crenshaw, seeing Nipsey yeah. Hustle store. Like I, yeah. it, was, it was really a culture shock because it's like it's so different from out here. Yeah. But honestly, it was cracked up to be. But it's like you go there and it's and like it okay, over. yeah, it's over. Like you can, you finally say you can do it. Yeah. They do got nice beaches though. I'm yeah. a beach guy, so I like going to the you beach. You like the beach? Yeah, I like. I going can't to the beach. do it. I be in, bro. I'm from Rhode Island, bro. I be in the beach. My, I be in the beach. Hot. From, I be at the beach from six in the morning till five p.m. every so five p.m. Ain't no way. Of course. Doing what? Just chilling, bro. Just outside on the sand? Outside on the sand. Listening to music, going swimming. Jalen, it's too Jaylen. hot. Hey, bro. You built different. <laughs> I'm not. It's too hot, bro. Nah, bro just... Jalen, you a big dude. The sand don't get places where it ain't supposed to be. That's what you can take a shower after. You go hop in the water, you be good. No, sir. I just, I'm, a, I'm a guy that likes to, you got to listen, though. Like, I, I'm a guy that likes to just. Hang out, relax, be outside. Yeah. Yeah, get so a little tan. You like on. to be outside. You don't like to be inside. Sometimes, only in the winter. Yeah. Yeah. That's when I like to be outside. Nah. I love the cold. Nah, see, I'm in the house in the winter. You don't like the cold? No. So why do you think I went to Vegas for two years for? <laughs> <laughs> so when it, okay, so when it, when it, when winter come, you ain't turning the AC on. Nah, Whoa, I never. T- I, bro, crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you. I haven't turned my AC off since I came in August. Listen, 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 bro. You know what I sleep in in the winter? I sleep in sweatpants, hoodie, socks, t-shirt. A hoodie and a t-shirt. Yep. Jalen, not look, look, Jalen. I be bundled up, boy. Jalen, a t-shirt <laughs> and a hoodie. Yeah, man. I'm cold, bro. You anemic? Nah, I'm not. I'm just be cold. I might be anemic. I don't know. Maybe got a good test for that. T-shirt and a hoodie is crazy. Hey, bro. Sleep different. Like I don't. I sleep no shirt. Air conditioning right on in the winter. That's you. I need it. Nah, not me. <laughs> I need, don't and I need the heat on. No, Jalen, <laughs> no way. Yeah, you bro, keep the heat on keep with the, the heat on with the hoodie, and you be toasting. With a with a with a with a comforter and a little and a little throw blanket. Yeah, bro. I you be, don't be hot. No, I be bundled up, neck deep. Like yeah, you're a name it. No, no, you're a name it. You don't gotta get tested. I can tell you, you're a name it. We gonna check. We gonna check. I'm gonna find out that for you, and we gonna find out. The, nah, bro. Look, you was cool, right? With the heat, the t-shirt hoodie, cool. Yes, but then you go to the the comforter, hey, bro. and then you say you gotta have the heat on. We all sleep different, bro. That's Matt. Hey, bro. You don't wake up in sweats. Nah. Mm-hmm. You just wake up like nope. great. Well, I'll be perfectly fine. So when you take all that off, you you get the shivering, huh? Nah, I'd be cool. So why not sleep? I just I don't know, bro. All right, bro. I'm an odd being, bro. In and Out Burger. That should be this a lot. Just I'm like just that. overrated, bro. Burger is cool. Like burger, cool fries are terrible. <laughs> I'm gonna and I'm gonna get backlash from this because yeah. like, some of my friends on the West Coast, if they watch this, yeah, they gonna they gonna come for me. But overrated. Burger, cool fries is just paper mache. Like paper. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't know what they do, bro. And it's just it's, it don't hit don't every no time. Season? Every it, it's it's not even that. It's like it's not even a season. It's like the fry, bro. It's yeah. like it's not. There's no like middle like there's no potato in us. Just be the outside. This is weird, bro. What you mean? I can't exactly. I can't explain it to you. It, but it's overrated. And then they say, "Oh, go get an animal style." That don't change nothing. What that mean? It's like they put like a dressing on. It's like Thousand Island and like cheese and like onions and stuff. Uh, I don't know. 
That's too cool. much. Yeah. If I can't eat my fries regular, I don't need to eat them. Yeah, exactly. But fries is like, I'll go there for the burger. I'll go there for the burger, no fries. Yeah. Yeah. The burger is good, though. That burger cool. You think the burger is uh, is cracked up as what did they make it to be? Uh, or is it like a regular burger? All right, so I'm going to say this. For a person that eats in and out they probably say it's average. But for like you, yeah. you go, you be like, oh, this is, you never tasted something like that before. So you yeah. be like, oh, this is fire. But I promise you, you stay for like six months in Cali, eat that. Like every other week, you can get tired of it, bro. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to get tired of it. Yeah. I got tired of it. I got tired of it fast. Fast. Yeah, like, and I had one right on campus. And you just stop going. I'll go like once a month, once, twice a month. Once a month is crazy. Raisin cane, some some place where you put uh, more to. Ah, here we go. I spent fifty I knew, dollars I, yeah, down there, listen, and um, I like canes. Me personally, I'm a big canes guy. Bro, I used to I used to go in the summer. We used to go for uh, camp. Yeah. In the DC was open. Yeah. We had canes right around right around the corner. We eat that every day, bro. I'm telling Ew. you, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Three piece, no slow, extra bread. The toast is fire. Butter both sides. Toast is fine. With the cane sauce. The with, cane the, with the high sea. You got the sweet tea. You trick. You <laughs> bruh, because up, I don't. Bruh. But you know what's crazy? I usually don't like sweet tea. I don't know why you got it then. Because I got the lemonade. So why'd you get the? You, you got half and half? No, I got just the lemonade. Uh, it sucked. But they had it out to where you could just get it. They yeah. gave you a cup. So I, I got the lemonade. I'm like, yo, this is disgusting. Uh, seat, Let me bro. see what the tea talking about. High Taste seat, it up bro. like, it's okay. High seat, then it was over. But uh, uh, You know, you we two different people, bro. Bro, the, the chicken on like it just—it's it's the sauce that makes it. I think that's what I think that's what I think that's what got me. Zaxby's sauce is better. Nah, I did go to Zaxby's and it, I wouldn't say it's better. You can't tell me Zaxby's not better than Raisin Cane's. I only see I only had Zaxby's once though. I me can't. too. Yeah, <laughs> me too. I had, I had it twice. I had Zaxby's, but it was like midday Zaxby's. You that feel me? Matter. Like. Nah, it wasn't. It wasn't. I had a midday and at night. But it was more like when I had it, I felt like it was been sitting there for a couple hours. You feel me? <laughs> the like it was already better? pre-made, huh? The bread not better. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Do not. I'm Yo, not, I'm bro. Not, I'm not gonna sit here and argue about bread with <laughs> nah. you. No, <laughs> nah, I'm not bro. doing that, bro. I'm not doing that with you. Zaspi's bread no, is better. No, the fries is better too as Zaspi's. Uh, it's the same fries. No, it's not. That's we season they fries. Raise a can't say season. You better fight me over this. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just saying, but because I, I nah, I gotta when I go back to Florida, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to double down on the Zaxby's and see what's up. You just up. gotta see what's going on. Okay, and look, if they still got it right. Yep. Now this is what surprised me. This this messed me up, Jake. <laughs> right. So when I when I, I went to South Carolina spring break. Yep. I got Zaxby's the night I went down there. Yep. My man's from from we went he went to Atlanta. He was telling me this is the best thing on earth. He said it was better than Popeyes. I had to see for myself. So I went down there. I got it. I said, "Wow, this is amazing!" Mm-hmm. Right. So then I went. I leave in South Carolina. I got the Zaspies again. Had to get it. Yeah. I'm on the road. My girl got the Oriental chicken salad, mm-hmm. but it's like some Asian sensation, yeah. something like that. It was here, bro. They had an egg roll with it, Ooh. but it wasn't a regular egg roll. It was like a barbecue sauce nah. on the egg. It was coated, though. Like, they cooked <laughs> it, in, and, like, she didn't want it. So I said, let me see. Nah, I said. Nah, see, that's a little too much. I like my salad, you know, the salad. Bro, but it was on the side. Oh, okay. It was on the side. Like, you know how you get your, your Chinese yeah, food with an egg yeah, roll in the yeah. back with the- I'm going to see what's up. It see. was a mint. I like salad, so. I'm just gonna, try I'm the egg roll, bro. Nah, I got to try the salad, bro. You could try like to say, but you got to get the egg roll. You don't like salad, bro? I, nah, I ain't salad. You, you, know, you know what's a fire salad? What? Chick-fil-A Southwest chicken salad. That's that boy right there, bro. I never tried Chick-fil-A salad. Go get that. Yeah? Go get that. You I don't like, know, you bro, because like you already put me on Raisin Cane, so I don't hey, know. You're you fooled. Go, like, there you go, I don't bro. know what we're doing. There you go, bro. Is, is Raisin Cane no, better than Popeye's? In what aspect? The chicken. Tenders? Yeah. If we got to go through this, Jalen, what, this what is we you, doing? You know what's fire, though? What? You ever had Whataburger? No. Whataburger's tough. Better in and out Yeah. When you go to Texas, go to Like, just the burger. Is it better in and out Yeah. Well, yeah. well I, ne- I didn't have the burger from Whataburger. I had what a chicken tender sandwich from Whataburger. Chicken tender it was sandwich. Like a, it was like a, a tender melt sandwich. Actually. Yeah. It was fire, bro. The fries better? I could, uh, I'll probably... So what fries is good to you? Cause you be knocking yo, everybody yo, fries. Yo, yo, you know it's crazy. I'm gonna say this, and you, I'm gonna get blasted for this. Yeah. Of course. Um, <laughs> um. I want. I can't say this. No, bro. just go ahead and say it. Say it. <laughs> Wait, what's your what's your what's your top fry? 
If you, I got a question for you. You got to rank these three fries right now. Okay. Burger King, McDonald's, Wendy's. Go ahead. Burger King, Wendy's, McDonald's. I don't eat McDonald's. Okay. So, yeah. That's the same with me. So, I put Burger King fries up there. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, Burger King, your number one fries. For some reason, they always be crispy. Always, like, no matter what, they always bro. crispy, always hot. Bad. Like, I don't know if they always, Anybody. they got to keep them in like Facts. a, Facts. I don't know what it is. Facts. Chick-fil-A fries is a little. Yeah, it'd be all right. They'd be iffy. Popeye's fries is. So, yeah, it's top tier fry right there. Other than that, it starts to get a little. Yeah, falling off. Yeah. yeah. The crinkle cut fries, I'm not a big fan. <laughs> not a big fan of the crinkle cut. That's why I couldn't do the Raisin Canes. Okay. And then you don't have the seasoning. Oh, here you go. Nah, you just lose me. Jay, listen. So, what's up with you? What's up? What's up? I want to ask you a question, man. Go ahead. What other sports you played in high school? Um, I played basketball. Uh, I played basketball from, I want to say, like the third grade to my sophomore year of high school. Yeah. I wasn't a basketball player. My, everybody in my family basketball players. I can't do it. I Why not? It. I just, I just hate it. Why? Cause it's just, I don't know, bro. I don't. I just never fell in love with basketball. It's crazy. It's funny because I people. Be you like, played that long. You never liked it. Never liked it. My dad made me play. Yeah. But I did it to keep me in shape because yeah. I never played a winter sport. So that was my winter sport. And I was always big, so I just, all I did was just grab rebounds. Was that kick center? Out. Yeah. I was a 6'2 center going crazy. JV, freshman. <laughs> never played varsity. You huh? <laughs> never played varsity. How many rebounds you had? Uh, couldn't tell you. I didn't, I didn't that check. <laughs> yeah, you ain't never care? I just played, bro. Just just, out there. Yeah. And then I played baseball all the way up into my junior year of high school. Yeah. It's funny. When people say, like, oh, you don't play basketball, I'd rather pick up a baseball before I pick up a basketball. Yeah? Yeah, 100%. Why? Because I love baseball. When did you start falling in love with baseball? I've loved baseball my whole life. I fell out of love with baseball because of my high school baseball coach. Why? What did he do? It just it wasn't rocking. Like, it wasn't, you know, when you have something so good and then someone just ruins it, yeah. it was just that. Oh, y'all feel like he but, had a good team, but it just. No, nah, it wasn't even that. It was like the team was out. The team was good, but it was just like he just made me fall out of love with it. Yeah. Yeah. And it was just like stuff kept adding up and adding up, and it was just over. What you play? I played first pitch, left field, right field, center. Played I played everything, yeah. And it's funny because people don't believe me when I say this. I was actually a better baseball player than I was a football player. No, well, no, you wasn't. <laughs> no, you you asked my pops. My pops would tell you straight up. No, I was you like, wasn't. I, I just, you I was, was a better baseball player yeah. than you was a football player? 100%. Why you stop? I told you I fell out of love with it, bro. But, dude, Jalen, if you – Jalen. I fell out of love with it, bro. It was like it wasn't. I couldn't – like, it wasn't like I couldn't go leave another high – like, leave my high school to go play for another high school. It was yeah. like – I stayed at my high school because they wanted me to play football. And, my like, I was devoted to my football team. So, like, I, after baseball, I just stuck with football. Was just, you getting baseball looks before I that? I wasn't. I didn't. That By that time, no. Yeah. But, like, if I know if I would have stuck with it by my senior year, it definitely would have got looked. Jalen. Yeah. It's all right, though. You, you regret know? it? Nah. Yeah. Football took me far, so yeah, taking me as far as I want. So I'm really, really satisfied Jeez, with it. You was a better. What was you bet? Okay, you go to back three, four times a game. How many you had? I will go probably go two for. I'll go two for four. Good day, three for four. Yeah, yeah on got a regular maybe, basis. Get, maybe get a walk in there. You know, it's funny. My uh, my sophomore year, every baseball game I played on JV because. Something happened with the varsity team and they moved me down to JV. I don't even want to get into that one. <laughs> okay. That was crazy. But um, I got hit by a pitch every single game. Why? <laughs> couldn't tell you, bro. I couldn't tell you, bro. It's just, they were scared of you? Nah, they just kept hitting me, bro. But then, um, so back to what I, the sports, I, was, I did track my senior year. Yeah, what you run? I, no, I did shot put. <laughs> I told you, bro, I, I stopped playing winter. I stopped playing basketball, so I needed a winter sport. Yeah. So I just did track. And then, um. My senior year, I played lacrosse. Lacrosse? Yeah. Did you know anything about lacrosse before that? Nah, my boy, my my kicker on my football team played lacrosse. Yeah. He was like, oh, just come play. I was like, you just dove I into just it. I just dove into it, and I started. <laughs> how'd you like it? It was cool. It was how'd you, cool. Like, how did you learn about it? Like, uh, They just took gave me a, gave me a, um, a stick. It was like, go hit people. It's like, copy. So you wasn't scoring or nothing? No, nah, I was, was on defense. Hitting. I was on defense. You was just hitting people. Hitting people. And you ain't know nothing about lacrosse, nothing. real. Just know so you could have probably the ball been was right, If the ball was right there, I would just have to pick it up and run and then pass it to my teammate and get right back on defense. So you could have probably been breaking all types of rules you never knew. No, I did. 
I broke. I got. <laughs> I was in the penalty box a lot in lacrosse. <laughs> what's the like? What's the hardest hit you think you had in lacrosse or yeah. in uh, the lacrosse? Lacrosse. Um. Oh, uh, I was on defense, and our team had tried to score, but the goalie ended up catching it. So he threw a long ball to his teammate. Mm. His teammate caught it. as soon as he turned around. I just lowered my shoulder. Boom. Penalty box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you know you was going like that's a you was breaking the rules when you did that? Nah, I just did it. They told me I could just hit like a football player, so I just hit him like a football player. Y'all don't have as much protectional pads. Rugby don't either. As football players, so how was that for? Do you feel like that made you better in football? Nah, no? I wore so like, you know what a spider is? Yeah, the little, I wore yeah. I wore a spider under my pads, so it was like it felt the same. Yeah. Yeah. Lacrosse. Yeah, lacrosse was fun. Lacrosse was real fun. Did you ever feel like you wanted to play it again? Uh, nah. I <laughs> Just one I time? Yeah, it was a one-time deal for me. Couldn't do it. I got hit in, um, in the private areas too much. <laughs> I didn't wear a cup, so. Why? Bro, they, when they take, when the attacks shoot the ball, yeah. there's no promise of where that ball going to go. So why you didn't wear a cup? Cause that's uncomfortable. It is, but so is that. Yeah, it, it is. Hit. It is, but it happened. But it, the thing is, like, it happened twice, and it's like that was enough for me. Yeah, I thought it like after the first time it happened, I was like, oh, this ain't gonna happen again. It yeah. happened again, and I was like, yeah, it's I love for this. And then I was, that was, yeah, that's it. That's all the sports I played. And you was really better in baseball than football. Yeah, football I was great, but baseball I just loved it so much. You feel like it's because you had the love for it, you was, like, more locked into it? Mm-hmm. That's what it is for a lot of things, like, with me. If, yeah. I, like, if I love it, I'm going to be locked into it. Yeah. Like, I, it's, it's going to be part of my daily regimen. 2K? 2K, like, music. Like, I love music, so yeah. you catch me every day listening to music. You always listen to music. I listen to music every day. Um, all types of music. So. Some of the artists you like. Uh, some right of the now, artists people don't know about that you like. Whew, I'm about to put some people on. Okay. Larry June. Larry John. Tough. Blast. Yeah, he's tough. Bino Rideau. He's tough. Um, Sound like these all West Coast dudes. Well, I, I listen to a lot of – though. I listen to those three. Out here, I don't – let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. I got to pull up my music real quick. Bro. I know Blast is tough. I listen to a lot of G Herbo. G Herbo? D, uh, Doughboy, YB, of course. You know, NBA Youngboy. I don't um, listen to much of Doughboy. Doughboy's about. tough. Yeah. Oh, Benny the Butcher. Benny the Butcher, one of my favorite artists right now. Like really? Zelda. Yeah. Yeah. I like Benny the Butcher a lot. I listen to Tyler Creator. A lot of people don't rock with Tyler Creator. You like him? Yeah. I listen to West Side Gun, Rod Wave. Uh, um, You're a big music guy before the game days. What's you, what's you on your playlist? Like, what you what you got about? What's that? What's that go to song? R and B guy. Before the games, yeah, really? Yeah, I'm an R&B guy. I don't know nothing about that R&B. I got a little something. My girl, I use my girl's playlist. <laughs> but I know something. But yeah. my girl got a playlist already, so I use it. Yeah? Yeah. I, I just, like, I switch it up. So, like, I'd like to do the R&B, like, right before I go just to, you know, calm. But, like, game day, it's a lot of YBG, Herbo. Yeah. Some Beano. Blast. What's some of the R&Bs you're listening to before the game? Um, Summer Walker. Yeah. Definitely listen to Summer Walker before the game. Her, Janae. Yeah. SZA. Oh, so you ain't listening to that old R&B? Nah, I'm listening to new school, new school. If I'm listening to old R&B, that's, I'm at the crib. Yeah? You know, yeah, Boys to Men, you know, all that. I listen to old school R&B just middle of the day. Yeah, I do that with, uh, I do that on long car rides with me and my girl going to Rhode Island and stuff, so. Old school R&B, yeah, that's yeah, my, I'm a little old head. I can tell, I can tell. Just a little tell. bit. I'm, yeah, I be rocking House sometimes. music, you listen to house music? Nah, I just, no. actually I just started, I just started seeing that like all over Twitter, like people listening to like different countries, house music. Yeah, I never, I never realized what house music was though. Yeah, I might that's Jersey to, originated. I didn't, I didn't know that. Yo, be honest with me, do you listen to Jersey Club like regularly? No. Okay. No. Okay. No, even when it was at its height, like coming so, up, you know, know, like I was gonna say, like one of them growing up in high school, like I knew who, you know, like DJ Taj. Yeah, I used to listen to that. I'm like, oh, this is hard. I can't it listen was. to it now. I, 
I wasn't really listening. Like, I, if if it's new and I heard about it, I listen to. Oh, this is nice. Maybe the next day. Okay, after a week, I'm not really. Yeah. Listening. Like, Only at a party type deal. I don't even go to parties. No. Like, yeah. Hundred percent. I feel. I'm a R&B. Like, a, I was listening to John Legend in eighth grade. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big. I like a lot of Spanish music too. Yeah. Yeah. What you like Spanish music? Like? I listen to a lot of old school by Chapa. So like yeah. Aventura, Romeo Santos. Anthony Santos, all that. Oh, none of these people are. I'm about I mean, to put you on right now. You, they, they talk. I listen to all the. Yeah. What's some of the genres you like listen to? Like you listen to country. Oh yeah, my really? favorite, one of my favorite country songs is, uh, it's by what is it Georgia State Line? Let me see. You listen to country music. Yeah, I listen to everything, bro. Like uh, is this? Are you one of those people like it gotta be a mood for it or you, nah, you I just, just put it shuffle? On. I just I put the, I have so much music on my phone. I just put my music on shuffle and it plays. Yeah, Florida Georgia Line, uh, the cruise acoustic. That's my favorite song. Yeah. My favorite country song. You listen mm-hmm. to rock. Uh, yeah, sometimes. What you listen to rock wise? Well, I don't know if they classify as rock, but the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah, that's right. that's that, I like the Red, Red Hot Chili Peppers. I just know it, but I don't know too much music. Yeah. Bro. I, I, bro, I tell you, my dad, my dad listened to a lot of music. Yeah. Like, did a lot of different genres, so it just stuck with me. That's where you think you get that from? Listening to mm-hmm. all different types of music? Yeah, I was listening. My dad's played music well, growing up all of the years, just sitting in his car, just playing whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Top I, five rappers. All time? Yeah. Oh, that's tough. <sighs> I got to go Biggie number one, of course. Woo! Yeah, you only got to take it. Biggie, Biggie number one. Yeah. Of course. Um, this is all preference. Yeah. Oh, you can't throw me in this circle right now. Mm. You put a hove in there? Yeah, I gotta put. I go Biggie. I go Wayne. Okay. Definitely go Hove. But Hove and Wayne are interchangeable. Yeah. And then. I'm gonna be honest, bro. Like, people gonna get mad at me. And people already get mad at me. I don't really got Hove in my top five. I mean, not that's Hove. Uh, Low Wayne. That's you though. Like I, see, but the only Wayne, reason I can, Wayne is interchangeable. Yeah, very interchangeable. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, but just you gotta realize what you gotta. Where we grew up, and he was yeah. just. The only reason I don't have year, Little Wayne in my top five is because when he was on his height, I wasn't really listening to rap music like. That. Okay, that's understandable. So it was like I wasn't really. That's understandable. When he coming out with this, I wasn't. I'm he going back now. Like, oh, Carter three. Okay, yeah, Carter two. So yeah. he's not really in my. Nah, he's. But he's I, tough. He's very not, tough. Very tough. So very like, tough. you got to put Wayne Hove, Biggie. I'm a big pun fan. Yeah. I love big pun. That's my. That's my. That's my dog right there. Yeah. Like that. Um, How good you think he would have been if he ain't never? He would have been up there. He would have been right next to Cali. Oh, not Cali. Fat Joe. Yeah. But they would have they would have been together just going crazy. And then fourth at fifth spot, you could throw like I'll say Snoop. Yeah. I like Snoop. Yeah. A lot of people don't got Snoop in their top five. Oh, but that's so you can't put me on the spot right now. I can't. I really got to sit here and. Think you got about Tupac. That. You got you got Dr. Dre. You got Fifty Cent. You got Eminem. You got. Yeah. I mean, Ice Cube, DMX. You got, you got DMX. You got so many different catalogs, as you know. Yeah. Cause I'm trying to go off what I listen to, like yeah. me personally. Like I don't listen to a lot of pop. You listen to a lot of Snoop? I, I listen to a lot of Snoop, but I don't listen to Snoop. But he's, I, a lot of my favorite songs is by Snoop. Yeah. So. What's, what's, what's those that you're talking about? What you Some mean? of your favorite songs by Snoop. <sighs> You got a big playlist, huh? I got a lot of music, bro. I had a lot of music. I was collecting music from 2016 to last year, and then I had to clear my, my laptop favorite, of space. My, my favorite Snoop Dogg song is the one with him and Pharrell. That's one of my top five songs of all time. That's Happy? That's that Happy thing? Nah, what that's that? Snoop. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. That's, that's that was on that old 2K. Mm-hmm. Boy, that's my, that's my every, t- I think they, that was like the opening joint. Like, as soon as you load yeah, up the menu, so that was the one was playing. That joint right there is that's, that's top tier. It was it because of two K the reason nah, why I got like that? I just love music. I'm telling you, guys. MTV videos was yeah. on my. Ho- I wanted, I'm in the house as a kid. I was on a, on the, and I put it on. Yeah. Right before school. You was just on there. Listen to music, bro. Listen, puts bro. Me in a, puts me in a puts me in a good headspace. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, bro. I got you on Snapchat. Yes, sir. You posted a clip the other day, two K. <laughs> yes, sir. You posted the clip. 
It was a putback dunk. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't a regular putback dunk. No, it wasn't. It was a putback dunk posterizer. Yes, sir. I have never. I've been playing 2K since 2K14 <laughs> on the on the gen. I mean, when they started all this, you know, contact dunk stuff. I've never in my life. I've seen multiple putback dunks. Never in my life have I seen a putback dunk posterizer that caliber. So my question to you is, what type of mods do you have? On your I don't got no mods. You know what's crazy? My, if you watch the video, my boy Trail, yeah. the Trail Hollis, yeah. he, was on the, he was up on here. Yeah. He shot the three. He bricked it. Yeah. And I was holding R2 and Square. The game took over from there. Nah. It's the badges, bro. You said you don't even got that many finishing badges. I got th I literally got three finishing badges. And you should not be doing that. So well, what mods you got? I got, I got, got? Aerial Wizard on Hall of Fame. All right. Okay. I'm going to say that's, this. That's all you need, Aerial Wizard. It say it right there, Aerial Wizard. It say, uh, in, in what is that? Increases chances to catch lobs and put back dunks. Okay. And then I got a 95 dunk on my power bullet. All right. When we get off here, can you tell me so nobody else knows? Can you tell me the I mods? Got you, so I, get I got you, bro. I, I get the mods? I got you, bro. All right. You don't want the mods out you. to the people because you don't want to, but I, I just want to know the mods. I got you, bro. Because that's not happening with three, three badges. <laughs> when we run 2K, I'm going to show you. Bro. How many players you got? What's the overalls? I got a 92 small forward. Yeah. Got a 97 big man. Got a 96 power forward. Got a 92 guard. And I got How a, much time do you put on these things, bro? They all, they all, I just be having, I got a lot of VC just from playing rec. So I just have a lot of VC and I just make builds. But you just be playing rec all day? If, nah, yeah, rec. I run like. Depending on if it's a good streak, I'll run like 10 games. Yeah. Not 10 games. I, that's what falls like five games. I got a, but I got a, I got a full five, though. So, like, yeah. if I run rec, I run with my five. Yeah, you don't run with yeah, my Yeah, so it's like everybody in my book. I got, it's either I'm playing power forward or I'm playing big. Yeah. And that's my two main builds my power forward and my big man, so. You don't like playing nothing else? Uh, I do. If I don't need to bring my power forward or big, like, I'll bring out my small forward or my guard. So you're keeping that center going just like the high school days, huh? <laughs> yeah, you can say that. You can say that. Play a lot of MLB? Uh, bro, no, nah, I didn't buy this one. I didn't buy this one this year. Yeah, I, I got I got 22, though. Yeah? Yeah. I don't like how long it take me to get to the MLB, bro. I just play, bro. It's just I, I sim everything, so I only hit, and that's it. So my games just be going by fast. I don't put the triple. Like, I don't like – like, I be playing half the season in triple A. Yeah, but you – <laughs> You think what you think real life is, man. I don't care about real life. <laughs> this is a video game. Not hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. I'm trying to get to the. That's why I play. On, that's why I play on rookie. Yeah, I do too. I'll be what? I'll be turn break. the sliders. Yeah, up. of course. Turn the sliders. I'll be five for I'm five. not there. I'll be five for five. You some saying? Five, five home runs. You some yeah. saying? And I, I, I got I, my first play was just a shortstop. That's but funny. Mine was too. Yeah, I, you know, <laughs> with me, I, you know why I made a shortstop? Wow. Because. You wanted to turn double plays? Nah. And you jump the, when you I throw. didn't know nothing about that. Uh, I don't even think You don't follow baseball like that? Nah, I'm just not getting into it because I, you know, the path I'm trying to go down, the more, money, the more yeah. sports you know, the more money you get. Of but course. The only reason I took a shortstop was because the abbreviation is SS, and in football it's SS strong safety. So that was the closest thing to football. So dead, uh, this is the only reason why I made a shortstop. I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, you're hilarious. It's dead the only reason why I made a shortstop. No, I, I respect it. And then uh, after that, I made a um, – uh, a two-way player because you know they got the show yeah, yeah, joint. Yeah. I made a pitcher and Sean said, "Yeah, I don't like pitch. I don't like pitching." And, nah, uh, why? I, uh, take too long. You was a pitcher, hundred percent. But you don't like it. But that's the thing in the game; it take long. Yeah, it make the game longer. Yeah, exactly. You like to get I'm it, you to like to get it out the way. I'm just trying to yeah. go break records. <laughs> <laughs> you broke the Barry Bonds record yet? Me? Uh, nah, I didn't break it in last year's two K. Nah, I got. I think I broke the the streak for the most like games of the hitting streak. I think. How many is that? I don't know, but I think I did. It's a lot of games, though. What's your MLB team? I'm a Yankees fan. Yeah, I'm a Yankees fan. I don't like the loss we took the other day. Nah. See, um, I, haven't been, I haven't been catching up. I've been busy lately, so I got to catch up on this baseball. The loss we took yesterday, we lost 11-1 to the Twins. Yeah, it's a scary season. You seen them raise, though? Tampa Bay yeah, raises. Yeah, I don't crazy. know. Something's going on with that. That's that boy Randy over there. Nah, something's going on with that. That boy Randy over there going crazy. Talk about Jeremy Pena. Oh, okay. Uh, Rhode Island native. If you, if you, I'm not a Rhode Island legend. That man's a Rhode Island legend. Come on. World Series MVP. 
Played against him in high school, though. Yeah. I didn't really know him too well, but I did play against him in high school. And What's he, he was, got? He was, you could just tell, he was just on a different caliber. Yeah. Like, everything he did was just fluent, smooth. Like, he knows what he was doing. Yeah. Like, it was, it's not a, like, a core memory, but it's like a vivid memory, you know? But definitely played against him. What was he playing in high school? I, oh, he played shortstop. Yeah. Yeah. And he was just double playing and everything. Just, just everything was smooth. It was yeah. just like, he's a kid that just played baseball all his life. Did you pitch that game? Nah, I played first that game. Play first that game. You think he would have told you up? Probably. <laughs> Got drafted out of high school. Like, yeah. it's, it's a different breed right there. So, was it like, were you rooting for the Astros in the World Series? Yeah, of course. Had to. Yeah. I just had to. It's like, my team wasn't in there. And the <laughs> kid from Rhode Island, you yeah. feel me? Gotta, gotta support. It's the same thing with, like, the, the Colts. Cody Pay, is from Rhode Island. It's a guy right Rooting there. Rooting for the Colts is kind of like. Not rooting for him, but it's like when I see something, him doing good, it's like. It's yeah, him to doing see good, but. I, putting on for Rhode Island. The Colts in itself is just. Yeah. I, you know. Hey, my boy. <laughs> we beat him in the Super Bowl. My boy, Never my boy, uh, my boy D-Line played D-Line over there, so he good over yeah. there. Yeah. So you played with him or against him? I played against him in my senior year of high school. Yeah? Yeah. You was blocking him? Nah, I was running the ball. Yeah? Yeah. You ever met him like in the hole? I gave him a little stiff arm. <laughs> <laughs> you gave him a, ah, I get off me. Little song, little you kept song, running? So, yeah. yeah. He was in the ground? Yeah. Put it on your highlight uh, tape? Man, I, listen, it I don't actually, matter. I actually, actually, I couldn't put it on the highlight tape because it rained that day and we didn't get the film from that. But I actually do have the clip. My boy Yo, sent it to me. Why is it that every time somebody, yeah, something I had good dudes, happened, right? like, Everybody I had up here and we talk about that they never give but you, a little I got, I got I got some good you food. Got it. I, you know I got some good yeah, food. Yeah, I yeah, can show yeah. you some I can show you some other stuff. But yeah. it was a like a five yard run, but yeah. it was more of the just the home. The stiff arm on a on a yeah. play of his caliber. Yeah, that's a, that's a great play right there, bro. Yeah. I give credit where credit is due. Was he always filthy? Well that, he was just, it was just him. Yeah. <laughs> that's a real saying. Who's some of the other people out of Rhode Island that people don't know about, don't talk about, but it's um, tough. There's a lot of people that um, – David Duke yeah. played for the Nets from Rhode Island, bunch of PC. Um, other than that, there's, like, a lot of, like – I know great high school athletes that were just, like, in my when I was in high school. Yeah. But they go, they're going to do their own stuff. But yeah. I got some few people that I know that were top-tier athletes yeah. that could have went to any D1 in the country. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen, man. You was at UNLV. Well, yes, he sir. was in Vegas. Yes, sir. When LeBron was down three one. Oh yes, that was. I was funny because when I was there, where was I? That what year was that? That was what that's 2016. What so that's when that's when I went to Vegas for the camp. Yeah. And we were in the hotel. With my, it was me and my dad. We was just watching the game. Yeah. And when they won that game seven. Dudes was just screaming, crying. I know crying? One, one dude I heard, he, he lost, uh, I want to say, almost 20000 on You betted on that game? You lost it? Yeah, bro. I wasn't really in the betting scene to get do the football, but mm. I didn't really know too many other people that were going to casinos. Well, I knew kids that weren't, like, like athletes going to casino and making some money. So, but that bet is funny. Crying? Yeah, it is. Definitely crying. It's funny because like when when I left Vegas, that's when the betting scene really got popping. Yeah, yeah. So that's when guys were putting in tickets with the Golden Knights, yeah. the the what is it, the Double A team out there? I forget what they're called. The the women's basketball team. Yeah, the Aces. Guys, yeah. Crying. Yeah. So people was losing money like that. Yeah, people lose money like that every yeah. day to day. But that that right. was because people not, they didn't expect LeBron to come down back three one. No one did. Did you? Don't sit here and say no. Nah, I did. <laughs> I was about to say I, no. But I, like I was, no I one ever came at the back same time. I didn't really have too much of a thought about it. I was no, like, oh, they have three one. Nah, they gonna they probably win. Nah. But I didn't like. I wasn't a LeBron. Well, I was. I wasn't a Cavs fan or Warriors fan. So yeah, me either. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a LeBron. My Lakers fan. was. So you a Lakers fan right now? Nah, I'm not a basketball. I don't got a favorite basketball team. I'm a LeBron fan. I grew up watching LeBron. <sighs> so you a Lakers fan right now? Is that what you want to hear, bro? You're rooting for the Lakers. I'm not rooting for the Lakers. I don't watch Lakers games. I don't watch basketball. What you mean you don't watch Lakers games? See, why you had to go? You could have just said you don't watch basketball. Why you had to say you don't watch Lakers games? I don't like watch Lakers games. I don't watch Celtics games. I don't even watch 
Raptors, Rockets, uh, who else? Uh, Warriors. I don't watch none of them, bro. I watch them. Uh, the game seven, come on now. Championship, I watch that. So you're not going to watch LeBron in the playoffs against the job? Nah, I'll watch him when he make it to the, you know, the finals. So we're going to make it? Yeah, yeah. I got, so I you're a Lakers fan? I'm not a Lakers fan, but I just said, you know. All right, bro, I'm a Lakers fan. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I got you, bro. I got you. You're a Lakers fan. <laughs> you a Lakers fan? You a Yankees? You a Saints fan? Nah. <laughs> you going to do this to me right now? <laughs> do what? Yeah, I'm a Jets fan. I'm a Jets fan. Yeah. You a Saints fan? Come on. I know a couple Saints fans. Yeah? Yeah. They happy right now, huh? Yeah. I love talking about that Super Bowl, don't y'all? Uh, I don't even talk about it. I talk about how we good now. <laughs> we not good right now? Uh, y'all going to be valid this year. When y'all going to get Aaron Rodgers up playing? When he get out that dark room. <laughs> he been out. He been out. He in the dark room with the Packers right now. He in the dark room in that in his mental. He might be out, but he's still in that dark room because yeah. he over there playing. Yeah, when you get Zach Wilson out of there, you uh, you worried about too too much. I got other a things. couple people that think that I have a friend that's a Cowboys fan that hates Dak Prescott, like hates him, mm-hmm. and he believes that Zach Wilson is better than Dak Prescott. I don't know what he Zach Wilson about. is is a great. He's not, he's not a right quarterback. He's just his mind's on other things like this. What is, what is going on? Cooper, you, you see, yeah, you feel me. <laughs> You, yeah, you know it's bad when Joe Flacco got to come in. And I'm not – Joe Flacco's a great quarterback. Joe Flacco, 45 That's years old. Great is a – can't just throw that word around. Hey, you can throw it. But people do it nowadays, you know. Yeah. I didn't say greatest of all time. I said just great quarterback. Nah, he's not. If he's a great quarterback, Derek Carr is the greatest. Derek Carr is a great quarterback. Yeah. But – So know, you think he's going to do something good for us this year? Hopefully. I'll, but I'm going to be quite honest with you. I'm a Derek Carr fan. Yeah. 2016 Derek Carr was – Ridiculous. I love Derek Carr. So now. you're a Derek Carr fan. You're a oh, LeBron hey. fan. Oh, that means you're a fan of my teams. No. Sir. And you're a Yankees <laughs> fan. I'm a fan of players. Yo, stop trying to tip my words, bro. Bro, that's just what I get uh, from yeah, it. Yeah, you right, you right, you right. You, you, you said you're a Derek Carr fan. I'm a Derek, Derek Carr, Carr played for the Saints. But I'm a Khalil Mack fan, so what are you going to say? I'm a Chargers fan? I'm also an Aaron Donald fan. We you going to say I'm a Rams fan? Aaron Come Donald on. about to retire. That's fine. I'm a Bobby Wagner fan. You know, I'm a fan of the Seahawks. He Come moved on. around too much. You can't be a fan of him. Come on. Who else I got a name? I got a name quite more. Chase Young. Chase Young, one of my favorite D linemen. I'm not a warrior. I'm not All right, a bro, let's move on. You, 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 you a hockey team? <laughs> you, you a hockey team? You a nah, hockey man? I'm never really got into hockey. I just actually watched my first, uh, my second hockey game a couple months ago. Yeah. Watched the AIC play uh, Sacred Heart. Yeah. A really dope experience. Yeah. I always like the only reason I like ever tuned into hockey was for the fights. Yeah, bro. Look, I just was about to ask you that, right? I don't understand why. When it comes to football and basketball, teams fight. Yeah, they get called thugs and all these different mm-hmm. types of stuff. But hockey, the refs will literally stop it to get more to let, let it get more. I mean, mm-hmm. organized for them to fight. This what is, is that about? I think it's just how the game set up. It's just more international. I, I would say but, but, but I, I, if they could fight, why can't we fight? I couldn't tell you, bro. Like they literally like stopped no. the. Oh, y'all about to fight? All right, whoa, whoa break it up, go. Like, mm-hmm. what, what? And it's funny because it, those fights is never like, uh, they they're planned. Like yeah. those guys will be like, oh, want to fight? All yeah. right, drop the gloves. But no, nah, I couldn't really tell you. I I couldn't tell you. I really couldn't. Bro, and like I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. And they <laughs> could fight on that. First of all, fighting on ice is crazy. Mm-hmm. Like they've been, but skates are like skates to them is like just walking on their feet. You can ice skate. Um, yeah, yeah. With the barrier, like I could, I could, I can't go fast. I could just, you know, get my little one-two going. Yeah. Same with rollerblading or roller skating, whatever you do. Yeah. A little one-two. I'm not. Too, no. I'm not over here doing jumps and spins. Nah, none of that. <laughs> Jer- I'm like safe. the rollerblading, the roller skating is very hard in the um the Jersey scenes, particularly mm-hmm. the area I'm from. Is Place called Skate Twenty Two. Mm-hmm. Closed it down not too long ago. So you're not a big skate fan, huh? Um, I skated when I was younger. Yeah. I was never like, let's go to the skating rink. But it was more like, oh, we got an event or a birthday party. I'm gonna go. Yeah. But never like, let's just go. Like I, I could do it. I'm not great at it. But there's too many people. I don't like being around people that are very good at things that yeah. I'm not good at. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I look like a loser. Yeah. <laughs> like, if I go roller skating, there's, I'm going with a whole group that know how to roller skate, yeah. and I don't. What's stop. that? You feel me? Yeah. I'm just going to sit there, and I'm 
<laughs> well, I'm gonna just try to. I'm gonna keep falling. It's not. I'm not so you don't like losing. Hey, bro. I just stay out the way. <laughs> yeah. So look, man. See me. Who's show that? me a clip of you. Who did? You. Oh, show me a clip of I'll you. I'll show you. I'll show you. <sighs> this is why I believe there's models in your game of some sort. Um, some you gonna tell me when we go to camera? You don't want nobody to know. Uh, you used the RPG, and you shot down a helicopter. But when you shot the helicopter down, like, no, 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 I'm sorry. Oh, I you threw was the driving helicopter. the helicopter. Oh, I threw the helicopter. And then you jumped out. <laughs> and then yeah, landed bro. exactly on the. Yeah. Jalen, how? I don't know. I just flew up. I seen him and I was like, oh, I'm going to throw the helicopter. And if it hits, it hits. If it don't, it don't. I just threw it and it landed on him. Salim, you think I'm trying, like, I do hacks? I'm not. <laughs> bro, you got something on your game, bro. I got a PS5 and two remotes, that's it. <laughs> nah, you got something. What type of remote you got? Scuff? I got a scuff. I got a scuff and I got two regular PS5 remotes. Yeah. Hacks, okay. Cool. Nah, I just, my What's, scuff, my scuff only got the paddles, that's it. What software you download on your game? Nothing. Yeah. I don't got it. I don't even got a monitor. I play on the TV. What that mean? People are better. They say it's better to play on the monitor. I hear that a lot, I bro. play on the what TV. What about it is better? This is smaller, and you can see a lot more. You can see a lot more since it's smaller? You got to think about it. You see on a TV, you can't see corner to corner. Yeah. In a monitor, you can see a corner to corner just by looking at it. Like, if you play on a TV, you, your eyes got to go to that corner. Yeah. You feel me? I don't know. It's all preference, TV. though. I need to play on the TV. I've played on a TV all my life, so. Yeah. Yeah, so. It's a little man. <sighs> I got it. You got football questions? What's up? you got for me? No, I'm going to ask you another question. Oh, we going into the football stuff later? We're going to get into it. I just want to ask you this. What's up? You play video games a lot. I do. PS3 catalog was crazy. Yeah. PS2 catalog was crazy. It's the greatest gaming system of all time. So top five games. Huh? Top, top five games? games? Who? Like series or just games in general? Games in like general. Like if I like. If you, if say, okay, say for example, if you got GCA as your top five, you could lead a series. All right, bet, 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 bet. I'm a weird. All right, <laughs> this is gonna bring the nerd out of me. All right, so Call of Duty for sure. Okay. I put 2K in there. Okay. I don't know if you ever heard of Kingdom Hearts, but Kingdom yeah. Hearts, Kingdom Hearts, like Kingdom Hearts a lot. I love Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. It was one of my favorite games growing up. Yeah. I had that on the PS. I had that on the PS2. I had it on PS3. I had it on PS4, and I got it on PS5. <laughs> I've beat Kingdom Hearts countless times. Yeah. Yeah. Kingdom Hearts. Um. Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Yeah, I was a big, big, big Mortal Kombat fan. And Spiro. Spiro, what's that? A little purple dragon, Spyro. I'm about to put you on. That was tough? Yeah, it was on PS2. You, you, I'm talking about you leaving off NFL Street, NBA Street, 50 Jeez, Cent Blood. That's what on I'm the saying. Sand. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, five's not enough. Like, and it's not even like top five. That's not even like a true top five. That's my favorite games that I've played yeah. of all time because. I could put NFL Street in there, I, but I could Street. but I could put NBA Street in there. I could put the Fifty Cent. Bully. I, I could put Bully. I could put I could put all those. Yeah. But it's me. Yeah. Like that's, those that's are those games would definitely be in the top five. But me personally, I played a lot. Like I played them, but I played a lot other games. You know. Yeah. Like people would be like, oh, this, this, and this. But it's like everybody played those games. I've I just named a game you ain't never played before. Yeah. You feel me? So yeah. it's like I played a lot of games growing up. Okay. I'm gonna see if you know this one. I played WWE. I played. I could put. I could put 2006 uh, WWE Smack. Uh, what is it? SmackDown and Raw. Yeah. Great game with Brock Lesnar on the front. I could do all that. You like? You ever play Fable? Fable, 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 Fable. I've heard of it. Never played it. Ooh, one of my favorite games of all time. Fable, Fable. I've heard of it. Yeah, I never played it. You ever played Dynasty Warriors? Of course. One through eight. You you see the the. Dynasty Warriors, the Wulong game that just dropped? No, they dropped a new one. They know. play, it's called Wulong Fallen Dynasty, but it's Dynasty Warriors, but like, not open world type deal, but just better bosses. Yeah? Yeah, I, had, I just caught that the other day. Hey. <laughs> it's tough. You a big gaming dude, huh? I'm a big gaming dude, bro. Yeah? Yeah. You like getting the movies, TV shows? Um, Anime. I'm an anime guy. Yeah? Yeah, I'd rather watch some anime than a TV show. What's your anime joints? Top five, top three, what you want, or just whatever I watch. Whatever you watch. I watch right now, I'm watching My Hero. Yeah. My Hero Academia. Just, I hear I just, about that a lot. I, just, I started that late. And then um, One Piece, Naruto, Dragon Ball Z, Black Clover, um, Attack on Titan, Demon Slayer, Full Metal Alchemist, um, 
Black Samurai. Um, I could keep on going. Let me ask you this: Do you consider Boondocks an anime? Um, if you consider it anime, you would have to consider Avatar: The Last Airbender, Samurai Jack, and all those other shows. Yeah. Yeah. But I see where people say it's an anime type style, but I can't put it there. I don't either. I, I don't can't think put it's it there. anime because, like, there was this argument on Twitter. It was like, everybody said they don't like anime, but y'all watch Boondocks. I'm like, I don't it's think not Boondocks the same. is it's anime. It's not the same. It's not the same. Yeah, I think it's completely two different things. What do you could categorize as an anime? Like, what what makes something an anime? I couldn't tell you that. Couldn't tell you that. Yeah. I just watch it. I'm not, like, the deep, 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 like, that type of deal. Yeah. But just, I watch it. Jalen, so what motivates you to play this game, brother? Football. Yeah. Um, you didn't play so- the, the tracks, the the baseballs, the basketballs, even though you didn't like it. I mean, baseball was, was your just, first love. It was more of just like there was so much to it. Like I played so many different positions. Yeah. I seen I seen the offensive side. I seen the defensive side. I seen everything. I've done the hitting. I've done the done the touchdowns I've done uh catching the ball running the ball but everything just it was just a love that never vanished yeah like even I took a year off of school took a year off of football and still came back to it it was like it's just something that was just missing from me and it was something I always wanted to go back to because I felt I needed to prove myself yeah. not to nobody but to myself yeah so that's what keeps me going and keeps me motivated and Something I love doing. It's just yeah. fun. You want to go to the league? So it's a dream of mine. So you ain't going to stop. Think you can get that done through here? I can get it done through anywhere. Yeah? Mm-hmm. What type of, like, what type of things you set in place to get there? It's just it's having a great season, setting myself up in the gym, make sure I do what I have to do to be able to compete with all these 600 different athletes that's trying to go to the league every day. Yeah. What's going to make me stand out? It's yeah. just my talent and what I can bring. A GM listening right now, the Saints GM listening right now because <laughs> we need some D tackles. Yes, sir. What could you offer to the game, to the NFL franchise? Anything you want. You can ask me whatever, and I'm going to do my best to do it. Yeah. That's one thing about me. It's just you, you, you show me what you want, and I'm going to do it. It's just you're not going to get – Half half of it, you don't get the whole thing. Yeah. And if I can't do it, I can't do it. But I'm gonna try my hardest. Yeah. I'm a, you put me in any system, I'm just gonna keep going. So. You think you're more effective on the end or the D tackle? It don't matter where. Yeah. It's just, I just put me anywhere, and I'm promise you, I'm gonna go make a play. Yeah. That's like one thing. It's like put me anywhere, I'm gonna do my job, and that's the biggest thing with football is doing your job. So, like where like my boy Coach Record said, yeah. one eleven. Do your job, do your one eleven job, and good things will go for you. So that's how I look at it now. Well, D tackles aren't looked at for making sacks. Rushing the quarterback. Yeah. Do you feel like you pride yourself on rushing the quarterback more? Um. Or are you just I, more of a run stopper? I'm both. Yeah. Yeah. I. I kind of. When I first started playing D line, that's why I, I was um. That's why, like, I envisioned my thing, like, myself was sacks, pass rusher. Like, I played the end, so I was yeah. pass rushing, three tech, just trying to go get sacks. But once I got to UNLV, it was more clear cut. Like, I got to be in a three tech, I'm in a two, run stop, run stop, holding up gaps. Yeah. It was a different, it was a different, um, it was a different game plan. So it's like, yeah, you can go pass, you can go pass rush on third downs, but. If you want to be able to play all four downs, you need to be able to run, stop the run. So that's one thing when I got here, I tried to really focus on was taking on double teams, holding my gap, and still trying to make a play. Yeah. yeah. That double team stuff, I could be, huh? Mm-hmm. It, it do. But once you learn how to get around this, it kind of gets easier and easier. Now, listen, Jay, I want to know, right? Sir. Some, some old linemen that you played in the conference, that's good. What just since you been in college football? First, have you played any D two or D three linemen that was better than D one linemen? Yeah. 
Yeah. Who? <laughs> it was Grand Valley count? Yeah. Well, Grand Valley was the one was was a top tier old one. I'm not yeah. Lie to you. Uh, the center from Pace is. He's, he's that. He's he's that guy. He's really like that. Yeah. Yeah. What makes yeah. him like? He's just strong, physical, and just everything he does is technically sound. Yeah. Like real technically sound. And then everybody at UNLV that I played was great. Yeah. My favorite old lineman I ever went up against though would be my my boy Amani Trigg yeah. from uh, UNLV. It's my guy right there. He really guard. really played guard, and it was always a battle between us. So big ups to him. He's over there at UNLV He's doing his grad senior year. Yeah, ought to be on the lookout for the draft. So He's doing real good over there. Guard? Yeah, and you need to come to the Saints because we need to get Angus Pete up off that uh, deal. <laughs> yeah, my boy Trigg. It's my guy right there. Yeah. So, Grand Valley, O-line. That was a great O-line. Yeah? Great O-line. Can't, you can't put nothing past them. Fast, big. They did their jobs. Yeah. There was a different speed with them. Like the, the game was just faster with them? It was just everything they did was at an instant. Yeah? If they're reaching, they're reaching. If they're double teaming, they're double teaming. If they're sliding, they're sliding. It's all, they're all in unison. It's not one you're not going to find a mistake. Now look, you just gave some people their props. I give people their props. Well, who's some people that you bust their ass? I can't do that, bro. Man, I why can't not? Do that. I can't do that. Is, are they in the conference? Uh, some, some not, but I can't do that. You don't got to give them names. Just give it a team. I can't do that. What's okay? I can't do that. A team you bust their ass this year. You felt like you had your best game. My best game this year? Yeah. I would have to say New Haven. Yeah. Yeah. So you bust New Haven ass. That's, that was your words, not mine. Okay, he bust New Haven ass, people. Nah, New Haven was was a good, was a great game for me. Yeah. Yeah. Great. You had any sacks? Nah, I didn't. But I had a half sack. But yeah. I had ten tackles. I led the ta- I led the I led the team in tackles that game. Ten tackles at yeah. D tackle. Yeah. Yeah. I was I was one of my better games. You would say that you're not. You don't care where you get put at. DND tackle, yeah. you're gonna get the job done. But where are you more comfortable? Both of them. Yeah. I can like I when I first started playing college football, I played DN, so I know how to spill. I know how to box stuff. I know how to pass rush on the outside. When I got to UNLV, they moved me into a three. Yeah. So I know how to work. I know how to work the guard tackle. I know how to send the double team. I know how to my tackle. My guard goes down. I'm on him pushing him down. Yeah. I know if I get a if I got my three tech my my guard disappears I get a pull I'm under it like I know everything like I got here I played nose I learned since I've been here and I've played nose I've learned how to play nose yeah. from taking on blocks taking on two guards yeah. taking on a, where if my center pulls what up where I got where does my head go so I could I could I could play anywhere honestly yeah Captain Jalen. <laughs> You're a captain, man. Come on, Celine. Come You're on, a Celine. captain, bro. How you feel about the team this year? Where we had it, we look uh, different. We look. Um, I think we're getting more disciplined. Um, how you think we look? It's, it's going good. It's going good. It's all been going straight upward. Yeah. You know, can't can't knock what we have. Yeah. Coach Conte is doing a great job. Yeah. Coming in, really showing us what what he can bring to the table and make yeah. sure like he actually cares about us and yeah. like make sure that we're on the right track and make sure we're doing the right stuff. So yeah. all I could say is we're going in a upward position but it's just day by day. Yeah. And hopefully by the by the what is it, fall? Yeah. By the fall camp it's all together and we're locked in. What you think about Coach Conti, the big dog? So I, he's a good dude. He's a great dude. But ever, ever since I met him he's been Hundred percent truthful. I mean, he ain't yeah. never BS me. Never beat around the bush. Yeah. Tells it straight up. One thing that stuck with me was when I talked to him and I was um like asking him about like how does he value like football in school? Yeah. And he was like, "You're an athlete second. When you're in college and you're playing college football, it's you're a student first. My job is to get you a degree before you get on the field." Yeah. He's like, "I don't care if you don't play. I'm gonna get you a degree." Yeah. That's the biggest thing because school can't be a school if you don't got kids graduating. Football team can't be a football team without kids graduating. For sure. So it's like your graduation rate 
makes a team better because that makes all people are graduating and also playing great football. Yeah. So that was always a big thing with me. So got you a couple nil deals. Nah, nah, nah. Stop it, Jalen. I don't. I don't. I know. I be out the way, bro. Yeah. I, don't, I don't promote myself. Comes it comes, but I just try to focus school football. You don't look for nil deals. Why not? Well, I need to. Fall. It's there. It's there, but you know how long athletes wanted to get paid. Hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. But it's like, I you love, the, I, lo- I love the thing. game for football. You know, yeah. Like I could go get it. I can go try and get my nil deals if I want. But I'd rather just let them come to me and just. I'd rather just play my game. Because you know, if it came to you, it came because it, they wanted. Play, I played my game yeah. right. I've been doing a good job, and I'm getting noticed. So it's yeah. not I'm not gonna stick my neck out and go ask you for an nil deal, and then next season I'm. Not playing well, it's yeah. like it's not. It don't add up. So I rather just go play well. If it comes, it comes. If it don't, it don't. Captain J one. <laughs> I'm gonna change the name of my phone to that, uh, Captain J, because you're gonna be the captain. Yes, sir. We already know how this gonna go. Yes, sir. Let me ask you this. What's up? What you major? General business with a minor in sports management. Did you major in general business since you've been in um? Nah, I went major to major to major to major. <laughs> what you what you start with? I started Without with, a list of what you. I major started with accounting. Yeah, oof. I started accounting my freshman year of college. What made you do that? Oh, I just love math. I love you numbers. Like math? I love math. I'm a big math guy. I love numbers. So, but nah, so like my professor, my freshman year of college, he was just going a little too fast for my liking. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember like the first test, accounting test I got, I got like a thirteen. Thirteen percent. Thirteen out of a hundred, I dropped it. I said, yeah, it's not. It's not for 13 me. Thirteen is good. It's man. not for me. So yeah. then, um, on did you feel like you was doing good on the test though? Like you nah, was taking it? Like, 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 well, bro, because be honestly, first it was my first week of college. Well, my first month of college. Yeah. No, I wouldn't even say that. Mind you, we had a test before ad drop. Yeah. So just think about that. Ad yeah. drop like the first two weeks yeah. of school. So, but no, nah, um, he was just rushing, rushing. Yeah. I'm a freshman, like. I don't even got the book yet. Like, yeah, I was it was a, exactly. So, first test came, thirteen. I was like, whew, went right up to the guy. I went right to my advisor. He dropped his class. It was, over. Guy, it was over. That's why I always take. I always take more credits than I need to. Yeah, just in case, in case I need to drop something, I'm good. Yeah. So I dropped that, and then I went to sports management. Worked with sports management for a while. Liked it. Got a lot of my credits in there, and then when I went to UNLV. <laughs> I thought I was a big dog. Yeah. So I went into computer engineering. Yeah. You just keep you just kept wanting to make it harder, huh? Yeah, I like the challenge. Yeah. I was doing cool. <laughs> I was doing cool until yeah. I got to calculus two. Yeah, that's where it just Calculus two. Yeah, down here. You lost me. Lost me. Lost me. What what what, what about cal- like what what do you learn in calculus two? Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you, bro. That's just a faint memory. I passed it, but nah. I passed with like a 70. But it just, it just was wasn't rocking. Hard. Nah. Yeah. So then I ended up switching to uh, marketing and management. Yeah. At UNLV, did that. And then when I got here, I just did general business. Just, then just, just go back to what you know. Yeah. And that's what you you trying to get your MBA and master's and master's. Mass, in yeah. Well, in business. I'm going to get my, I'm trying to go get my real estate license this summer. Yeah. Yeah, trying to set up an internship with that for something out here. Yeah. So when I finish school, I can, wherever I move to, just hit the ground running. Yeah. What's your welcome to college moment, man? You've been at Nicholas. You've been at UNLV. <sighs> been here. First, welcome to college. Are you talking just in school or are you talking about football? Both. I couldn't even tell you. Like, I know it had to be one of them since 30 a.m. where you, oh, wait, I just woke up at. Five thirty. Nah, okay, bro. I'm gonna like, be honestly. I'm gonna be honest. My freshman year camp. Yeah. Boy, it was brutal. <laughs> I ain't never experienced a camp like that. Like at Nichols. Well, at Nichols was my first college yeah. camp, so I'm thinking, oh, this would be, be a breeze. Like yeah. I'm just gonna go to practice. It's gonna be a breeze. I was not ready for six. It was six to nine p.m. every day. Every day, yeah. kicking my butt, and it was hot. That summer was hot. That yeah. was like. Hot, so I ended up. That's how I learned how to wear long sleeves. My boy, <laughs> my uh, one of my teammates, who wore a long sleeve very practice. Yeah, like, you why you wear long sleeves? Every wear game. long sleeve very practice. <laughs> uh, I got a long sleeve in my back. I'm wearing a long sleeve today. Um, <laughs> um, 
he was wearing a long sleeve. I'm like, why you got a long sleeve? You know how he's like, nah, it just keeps the sun off my body. Yeah. But then he was like, also, because he was uh, white, he was like, it keeps me from sunburn. Yeah. I was like, hmm, that makes sense. Yeah. And when I went to got through UNLV, I just wore a long sleeve every day. Yeah. I was getting so dark, I was like, yeah, nah. So I just stuck with the long sleeves. But honestly, UNLV's camp was a welcome to college. Like, yeah. welcome welcome to D1. Yeah. Welcome to D1. Wonder, but like, what was, like, is so it mind really crazy? You, so I got there... My friend, my sophomore year, I got there late. Yeah. So there, you know how they're they're there from June. Yeah. I got there August second. Mm. Camp starts early out there too, so I was out for like a week because I had to get like my paperwork and all that done. Yeah. So I got to pads, boy. It was like one ten that day, and we was moving. And it's not it's not like you got lax at days. It was like you were station to station. Yeah. Every day. So then it was like practice. So I was like, I can give you like the whole breakdown of my. You know, be schedules. Wake up six o'clock. Yeah. Meeting at seven. Yeah. Practice at eight. Yeah. Eight to ten. Then you got after practice ten. You got like a two hour break. Yeah. After that, you got lift and recovery. So it's an hour. Then you got meetings. Yeah. Then you have dinner. Yeah. Then you have a walkthrough. <laughs> and then you have a snack, and you, then you go home. And that'll be like nine o'clock. And it's like a month of that. Yeah, but then mind you, then it's so like that following year. I come on my second year there. I was there. I finished school second week, the first week of May. Yeah. I was there the last week of May. And from June to August second, Monday through Friday, six a.m. to twelve p.m. workouts every day. And this has been your life for about seven years now. You ain't get tired of it yet. This is. It becomes. It becomes a routine. You know. Yeah. Like, that's why I don't mind doing the stuff I do. Like, when people complain, oh, we got this, got that. It's like, you just got to do it. Yeah. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You just got to do it because you want to be something. You say you want to do this, you want to do that. Yeah. only way you're going to do this and do that is by doing it. So, I never, I never, I never got, like, complained just because it was like, I was somewhere where people don't, well, a lot of people don't get to go to. Yeah. So, it was just like, I can't let this go. Welcome to college moment, school-wise, you would say it's that accounting test? That accounting oh, test? yeah, for sure. Yeah. That and UNLV, first day of classes, taking, what is it, Calculus 1. No, Pre-Calc 1 or Pre-Calc 2. I walk in there. What the hell? You got a Pre-Calc 1, Pre-Calc 2, then you got Calculus 1 yeah, and 2? Yeah, yeah. Ridiculous. I went to, I forget what it was, walked in, sat down. Teachers rush. No, no, no. <laughs> so I walk in there. Good. Professor goes, here's your syllabus. Read it over. Starts writing notes on the board. That's it. But like, <laughs> but, yeah, but like not stopping. Like just yeah. not like turning around and explaining nothing. Just yeah. writing, talking. Went so after that class, right as soon as that class got out, went to my advisor. I need to switch out of this class because this teacher don't like. This don't he don't help he don't do nothing. <laughs> he was like, all right, so I'm gonna put you in this one. Yeah, puts me in another calc class. Walked in there, I got a Russian teacher. Yeah. She barely speaks English. Like her English is not. She has a thick accent. Her English is not well. Yeah. I'm like, how am I supposed to learn? Went right back to my advisor. Not taking this. Yeah, that was that was bad. But yeah, that was that was my welcome to college. Little little spiel. On the football field, I didn't have one. Yeah. Football field, I didn't have one. At UNLV, I didn't. I didn't have one. When you talk about the so you playing D one, stadiums big. What's like the best college atmosphere you think you played in so far? UNLV home. Yeah. Against UNR. You know what's that? University of Nevada Arena. Okay. It's a rivalry game for yeah. the Cannon. That's a different atmosphere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Going crazy. Ridiculous, ridiculous, well, and especially if you win the cannon, everybody storms the field. You sing the fight song, yeah. And, and there's no better feeling than when you win and sing your fight song at yeah. home. No better feeling. <laughs> Even though I didn't play, I was like on the sidelines, just in my jersey. Yeah. Just the atmosphere is crazy. Yeah, yeah, crazy. Oh, look, man, I'll be remiss to get you out of here. Real crazy. Well, what I asked you about your relationship. Well, my girl? Yeah. Well, we 10 toes. We good. Listen, man. Y'all always around, Kevin. She plays. She a softball player. Yes, she is. 
Are you trying to breed an athlete? <laughs> Yo, Salim is crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, got if you, two, okay, two you, you choose games. get the. You choose. You get to put them in whatever sport you want. What you put them in? Whatever they want to play. Yeah? Yeah, it don't matter. My son got to play baseball. I, that's what, I'm, that's what that's the bag most at. money at. That's what the bag. But you also got to realize, though, it's like, I do what they love. So yeah. it's like, if they don't love sports, they don't love sports. But whatever they love is just. It's going to hurt my heart, baby. <laughs> what they say? Yeah. What they say? Uh, what's that song? Um, oh, what song is it? Something, something, try again. Yeah. What's that song? If you don't see it, it's yeah, first yeah, try yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But not, um. <laughs> you know, okay, yeah. I see you. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. but if you don't succeed, yeah. just try it. Yeah. But I'm um, not. Nah, whatever whatever they fall in love with, it's going to yeah. be supportive no matter what. Yeah. If it's sports, sports. If it's. Nah, I just, just learned this president word. of the world. President. president. President of the United States, President of the United States, you know? Yeah. They want to be, I don't know, teacher, be the best teacher you can be. Yeah. Well. I just learned this word. The Riz word. I don't know where this generation Riz, yeah, came up with this. I don't know what this is about. Yeah, this is that's that new generation. Yeah, I don't know what this is about. What was your Riz tour? She went to UNLV. Um, yeah, she did go to UNLV. And y'all met at UNLV. Yeah. Okay. What was your Riz tour? I don't. I just went up to her. Well, I went through her friend. Yeah. And her friend was like, "You gotta go." Well, Leah was like, "Tell him to come talk to me." Yeah. So I was like, <laughs> "I'm a shy person." So yeah. I was like, "Ah, I'm not gonna do it." Yeah. And then I ended up doing it. Yeah. And then we started kicking it. We started kicking it more and just just happened. Yeah. Yeah, it's my girl. It's my love of my life. Yeah. My Leah. Love that girl. When, y'all, when you going some time? Hey, man. You ain't the only one that's been asking. <laughs> Hey man, listen. I'm in a relationship too, brother. So 100%. I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to ask you when you're going. Yeah, I'm, I'm not talking about the marriage because I already know that's a. <laughs> yeah. That's a deep situation. Yeah, the other question too. We don't know. You don't know. No. Wherever God takes us, you know. Yeah. It's just. I don't know. Like this is when it happens. It happens. You know. Yeah. How many you want? How many you uh, want? Me, I want two or three. How many she want? Like four or five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? You think you're going to get that? Uh, I might go with the two. <laughs> nah, three. 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 Get the f- you got to get the starting five. Starting five. Jackson five. Yeah, listen. And you, you, know, you, know, five. you know what you, you, know what you, you know what you had to go through life, what your parents had to go through with you? Yeah. But I was a good kid. 100%. They could be the greatest kids in the world. <laughs> <laughs> but five of them? <laughs> Slim, what you doing right now? Where are you at? I'm in Massachusetts. Doing what? In, Podcast, in school? Yeah. That's you got a brother and sister? Yeah. How many? I got, I got one sister, three brothers. That's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot. That's a lot. My dad didn't stop. Yeah, but I only got me and my sister, so, yeah. you know. But that's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot. She come from a big family? Who? Your, your girl. Uh, she got her and her brother. So it's just her and her brother. But she got a lot of grandmothers, aunties, and all that. Just like me, though. I got a lot of aunties, uncles, so cousins. You want to give in to the five? Five, Celine. Yo, five. you, my girl going to hear this, bro. <laughs> <laughs> she going to be like, My girl going to hear this. Listen, man. <laughs> yeah. The same thing about my girl only want like two, three. But look, right? What do you want? You want the five, though. <laughs> you want the five. Hey, bro, See, look. See, two different people. Look, bro, look. That's five mouths to feed, Celine. Yeah, it is, but look. But right? think about it. But think about it, though. How you going to do it, though? You going one, two, three, four, five, or you going one, wait a couple, two, three, you know? Oh, there you go, bro. See, See that's, but look, but that's, that's up to thing, me. Though. You got to, you got to, I feel like if you go five, you got to have them back, 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 back. Yeah. You can't have, you can't just spread them out. Depend, I, like, right, you, so, right? you got to remember, you got a life too. Yeah, yeah. You got to be at least 40, 45, be able to tell you, my kids, we good, I'm gone. Like, yeah. you feel me? I'm saying, like, I, okay. So, my girl started off with just one. Yep. She's just her and her brother. So I, she's started just her one. <laughs> I started with none. I started with none. You don't want no kids at first? Nah, nah I, wanted, no. I wanted a boy. Not going to lie. One she, boy. She, she started off with one, then I pushed it to two. Then I'll push it to three. But, the, but listen. Now we're working on four. Listen, Slim. Hey, don't don't push it too much. <laughs> <laughs> hey, be comfortable. Hey, bro, look, bro. I, uh, like you said, if you don't succeed that first try, try again. 
I mean, if I don't get that athlete, 100%. or if this if this kid yeah, just, listen, I, bro, you never know what happens in the next ten years, twenty years. Yeah, sports could be gone. Yeah. <laughs> like we never know. Yeah, but nah, hundred percent. I don't yeah. know. I think I want a hey, bro. couple. Uh, Mrs. Know, Salim, man. this man is crazy. Stick I, with your three. Don't let him peer pressure you. Bro, I, don't don't tell her that. <laughs> Do not tell her that. Cause okay. she said she said. Now this is you peer pressure, Mark. You said five. She nah, gonna, I, I didn't. Salim, I'm gonna call you today. She gonna watch. I'm telling you, it's gonna happen. Bro, listen, like, but tell me that. I got look, bro. You gotta understand, like. At the end of the day, like, it's up to you. Yeah. Like, you got to – you have the the j- juice powers to make that happen. It's up to you. You better go get a vasectomy. Listen, bro. Next topic. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man. What you want to do with this business degree? Um, I'm going to, to real estate. I'm going to real estate. Yeah. I want to get my real estate license. I'm not looking to like start my own. Like I want to start my own firm, but for right now, I'm trying to look into buying one or two houses, yeah. rent them out, turn it Airbnbs. Yeah. So I'm trying to move back to the West Coast. So yeah, yeah. I don't got, um, I don't got. Well, I don't got my grandparents over here, but yeah. my family live down in Florida. Her family from the West Coast, so you know. And I love Vegas. Like I'm telling you, the two years I was there, I fell in love with it. Yeah. So you want to live in Vegas? I would live in Vegas. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is it expensive out there? Mm-mm. No? Mm-mm. And, everything, and everything's close. Yeah. Cali only like four hours. Arizona only like four hours. I've been to Arizona. It's too hot, though, bro. It's dry, though. It's not like, it's not that thick air that you get out in Jersey in the middle of the summer. Don't it's do dry. Don't do that. No, nah, I'm not. Good weather in Jersey. No, nah, y'all got great weather, but y'all have humidity just like Florida, <laughs> just yeah. like Georgia, yeah. like just like Rhode Island. Like, yeah. that. we all got humidity, but there is no humidity. No so humidity. it's like 100 degrees, but it's dry. Like you might need a little one of these, but you can breathe though. Loses me, but you dude. can breathe though. Think about it. You can't breathe when it's a hundred out here. It'd be ninety five here, feeling like one ten with humidity. Mm. It'd be a hundred out there, feels like a hundred. It's two different heats, uh, and it get colder at night because you're in the desert. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Selim, we gonna go. When yeah, I go I sh- out, Selim, sh- when I go there, I'm gonna call you to come. Yeah, like I'm, I, I sweat in the winter with no coat on. Me too. So like, you, when you talk about 100 degrees, but you gotta me. think about it. You get acclimated to certain things, bro. I don't know if that's something. Because I, I was in Vegas. I don't know if that's something I want to get acclimated. But listen, to. I was in Vegas with a hoodie on my my second year. Yeah. In what degree? Like 85, 90. Shh. Hey, Jalen, listen. You lost me. Jalen, I'm telling you, you're gonna come visit me, bro. Watch. I'm gonna come visit you, but I I I, I tank top. That's fine. Cause hoodie, uh, and I'm gonna bring you back in February when it's cold. It snowed in Vegas when I was there, actually. Yeah, that's crazy to believe it. Yeah, it snowed. It snowed. How much? Like a, not even an inch, but like yeah. it snowed. It's not just much to do already. Right <laughs> I, mean, I was like, I moved away from the East Coast, yeah. <laughs> and the snow followed me. Yeah, yeah. it snowed out there. Let me get you out of on this. How the hell did you get the AIC from UNLV? Uh, Xavier Torres. Yeah, big Xavier Torres. I wanted to. I didn't think I was gonna play college football again. Yeah. And I was going to school, school, school. No one was getting back to me. No one was getting back to me. So I texted X. I was like, yo, I'm about to go play semi-pro. He was like, bro, just come play here. I was yeah. like, are they going to take me? He was like, yeah. He showed them one clip. Shout out Coach CJ. He's not here no more. He had yeah. Central Connecticut. But he was just like, we'll take him. They gave me my second chance. So as he holds a special place in my heart. Yeah. Yeah, they gave me my second chance. Hey, man. Listen, brother, I appreciate you coming on this here conversation. Of course, of course, of course. Talk about your second chance. Of course. Now you get to be a captain of the team that gave you your second chance. Yes, sir. Get to win. Hope we win some. We're going to win some, bro. I, I promise you. I just need some ice. I, boy, who you telling? I just need some ice, I brother. I haven't had none, bro. I never got a championship. I've been, you know, even in AYF, I've went to, every year I played in AYF, I, started, I think minus two years, I've been to the championship and yeah. lost to the same team. Shit. I lost. I lost my junior year of high school after having the number one defense. That hurt. We uh, my my high school defense. My junior year let up thirty six points in total. My senior year. My junior year. That's we go into the Super Bowl. We look, we let up forty four. Shit. Forty four. Yeah, that was a big shock, huh? Was this bad coaching? Happens. Listen, brother. Of course. 
Can't wait to see what you do, man, in the future. Of course. Can't wait to see. Uh, the only thing I got is, like, just Jets fan crazy. Um, and I don't say nothing about your Saints. You do. I would never said nothing about your Saints. I feel like once. Nah, that so one so. comment I said, I, y'all said that y'all talk about that Super Bowl, but I can, I can talk if you want. Talk about what? Y'all got Alvin Kamara still? Yes. Respectfully, I like that. Y'all need to keep him. What? Nah. What you mean by that? Y'all need to keep him. Like, like when you say that, it means like you need to keep. Like, like what? The, the, like, like we need y'all, him. Like y'all need him. All right, bro. Listen, <laughs> I appreciate. Sure listen, no, nah, y'all. This, that's y'all running back. Like, yeah. you don't ever trade you him. You see what? I know what's on. Come on, you, you just gotta, well, you gotta just talk to your boy Mike Thomas. He ready? I talked said, to him he yesterday. Said, he said that last year. But listen, all right. Look, I'm gonna tell you uh, this. Uh, uh, you know, uh, I, I talked uh, to uh, GM. Uh, I talked to him. He, he I said that last him. year. I talked to these he, people. Wait, you got to come here and run all his uh, his little slants this year? That's a slant. Don't God, make right me there. put those stats on the screen, Jalen. All slants. This, how you going? All right, this is, this is on AIC on air. <laughs> this <laughs> is Mr. <Mystery laughs> Conversations. I'm your Slim Side. Jalen, listen, man. Sure. I appreciate you coming on. Of course. Thank you for having me. I'm trying to get this done for a minute. Yes, you a busy guy. We're going to have to shake back there in the middle of the season. Yeah, oh, see man. how it's going. Yes, sir. For sure. This is a necessary conversation. I'm your Salim Messiah, and we out. Yes, sir.